Hey gang, Greg Rempe here, Barbecue Central Show. It's finally made its appearance here in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame city. The Art Flame is here. We're gonna be cooking on it all day today. A lot of things going out to Snake River Farms. We're gonna be cooking a variety of tenderloins and strip steaks and that big ass tomahawk steak that's gonna look ever so succulent right here on the grill. We're gonna fire it up here in just a few short minutes. But I mean, look at this thing. Forget about ringing the old school dinner bell. How about this? Yeah, it's only like 250, 300 pounds. I mean, I moved it with my pinky, no problem. It's here camped out on the uh, cooker house of all cookers or better known as my backyard. Uh, here's what's on the menu aside from the steak. We're gonna do chicken wings. We're gonna do lettuce, grilled lettuce. You ever done that before? We'll show you how to do that. Uh, we're also going to do bacon and eggs. We're really gonna try and show the versatility of this cooker as best we can for the time that we have it. So. If you've never seen this thing, it's the Art Flame. You go to artflame.com, you check it out. And most importantly, you're going to see it in action here over the next handful of minutes. Stand by. It's going to be awesome. Yeah! Fire! Take both. <laughs> nice. Woo. Look at that. Awesome. Perfect. You don't think you can see her? Yes. I want to eat it. I want to eat it all. cheese on. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> We're cooking eggs right here with chicken wings and grilled cheese. Super, obviously, super moist. All right, guys, we finished cooking on the Art Flame. First of all, what a blast it was. I appreciate Denver and everybody over at Art Flame for bringing this up. Let me test it out today. And we cooked a plethora of food. We cooked 
some really great Snake River Farms Wagyu beef steaks. We cooked chicken wings, we grilled romaine lettuce, we did grilled cheese, we did eggs, we started it all off with bacon. There were probably some things in between that I just don't even remember because we cooked so much on it. Now some thoughts and suggestions. First of all, if this is like the first grill or cooker you're ever gonna use, and I think this probably goes on a, on a high level as well. There is some ramp up time, but that's true with any cooking appliance that you get. You're not just gonna be able to jump into this and it's just gonna be magical and exuberant and all that good stuff. So you wanna make sure you know how to build a fire. You wanna make sure you know how to maintain a fire. But if long as you know how to do that, this is gonna be very easy to use and you're gonna get really good cooking temperatures. We were able to get anywhere from about 325 degrees right here and then moving in closer. 450 all the way up to 500 degrees. So there's certainly a variance of temperature that you can work with to make sure that if it's getting too done too quickly, you can pull it to the outer side, or if you wanna ramp it up, you can push it in a little bit closer to the fire pit. The maintenance, I don't even know if there is any maintenance. Initially, you're gonna be oiling it to keep the rust from building up, kind of building up that patina. But we had no problem once we were done cooking, taking a little scraper, pushing that right into the fire. I mean, how easy is that? You don't have to worry about anything else other than just pushing it into the fire. But that's pretty much it. You don't have to cover it once it gets seasoned. You don't have to do anything extra maintenance wise except just the normal stuff. So from that standpoint, this is one of the things that sets this cooker apart from pretty much everything else on the market right now. Um, I have a host of different cookers out here. They all get covers. I all have to do, I have to do certain maintenance things on them to make sure they're running at tip top shape. Overall product results were absolutely great. Great sear, great crust build, smoke flavor was very, as you see it wafting through, uh, the smoke flavor was very uh, subtle. But again, this isn't a smoker, this is more of your flat top style cooker, flat top uh, style grill, if you will. So you can do a lot of different things on this. And uh, I think if you buy one of these, learn the fire, but then you're gonna be able to cook everything that you can cook indoors right on this thing. And how much fun, I mean, watch the video, watch me working all the way around this. You can have five or six friends around here kind of cooking their stuff. So this cooker is actually making it a little bit more social than just opening up a grill, having your back to everybody, and then not being able to take part in the conversation or you're just the guy that's cooking everything. Here, everybody can take part. You gather around, they're cooking chicken satay, you're doing grilled salad, this guy's cooking steak, maybe somebody's doing shrimp or fish. I mean, what can't you like about this? I really like it and I'm gonna to continue to cook on it and I'll report back every time I do. Thanks again to Denver and the guys at Art Flame for hooking me up. We'll talk to you soon.